Hello YouTube and welcome to this new uh, video and today we have the Mead LXD55 and this is a telescope as you probably can already tell. Uh, this, the lens, I put, I did clean this uh, yesterday because basically this is a telescope that my uncle brought around yesterday on my mum's birthday because he'd been sitting in his garden for a couple of years. Uh, I don't know, he picked it up from somewhere and just left it in his garden. He didn't really do anything much with it. And he sort of didn't, said, so said to me that he was going to dump it. And it <coughs> whoops. That doesn't matter because that's just the metal cover, but that's annoying. I dropped that. Oh, it has dried out in there because it keeps steaming up in there, as you can see, but it's dried out. And obviously the mirror's really dirty at the back there, like really bad. Um... But yeah, uh, it's been sitting in his garden a couple of years, uh, and he sort of said to me that he hadn't got round to dumping it. And I, well, I said, if you're only going to dump it, I'll have it. So he said, all right, then I'll bring it round. Uh, it has a lens here, and if you take that cap off and rotate this, which is the rotate lens, is it that one? That where we go, and then that reveals the lens, and then you can look through it i don't know what you can see um because i can't get round there so put that back on uh, this tilts up and down it's electronic uh it has the cable for the remote control which apparently didn't work but to be honest i don't reckon my uncle ever plugged it in and tried it uh, we've we've got a 12 volt DC adapter, so we can plug it in. Uh, this cable looks a bit dodgy, but it seems to go to here and some other electrical box thing. Um, I believe it probably was quite expensive. New, I don't know where he picked it up from. Uh, I've got I've not got a clue, but it's the Mead. It's got it's F10, something class grain. We have to go upside down with this. The D, it, the D something, and then you can read this stuff. We go upside down for the that, and the ultra high contrast. It's got a blue tint to this this glass. I will take the glass out, clean it, clean the mirror at the back, clean the rubber seal which obviously leaks, and put it back on. I did clean this one, but I did. This, I don't believe, didn't probably not leak, but I took it apart and cleaned the lenses really clean in here. But obviously, I didn't let it dry out because it steamed up in there, and it wasn't. So, the only things that are missing is in that screw hole there, there's supposed to be this pipe, that just a, just a little metal, just a metal pole, and it's supposed to have, like, bits, blocks on it. I think it's a weight balance, a counterbalance for that or something. And there's a tray that bolts on there and screws in those three holes just for frying stuff in. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, the only thing that might be important that's missing is a piece of hole that goes in there. But no, I doubt it is. Uh, the cover there is just that silver thing there. It fell off, apparently, when he was putting it in his car. Uh, this rubber's perished and, quite frankly, my hand's relatively clean. Wipe it on the rubber. Got dirt on it. Because uh, it's perished. It's one of those rubbers that once it perishes, it goes like black, like brake dust on a bike or a car. Uh, that's the mead thing. Uh, I would imagine it was probably quite expensive when it was new. Uh, because I have been, he brought it round yesterday and, well, all I've done was cleaned this. This isn't made of aluminium, which doesn't rust. It corrodes and is corroded and broken my dad can weld stuff obviously we're not going to bother welding it i will plug it in and test it first i will probably clean it and let it dry out first but i will definitely plug it in and test it uh if none of the telescope works again we probably won't throw it out we'll probably just sell it on ebay or something because i've been busy lately and doing other stuff for example i built a new wood for i built a new top for the bird for this bird house yeah, I, 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 we went, I went out, I found that top bit of wood, the very, very bottom bit I found. The bits around the side making the plate uh, were, were old uh, chicken perches because we used to own chickens. And the two struts are just bits of wood I found and I built a new top for it. It's completely finished. I've wood stained it. I might give it another coat on the top, but I don't think I'll bother. Maybe on the top, but not up around, around the sides. But 
I've just got to coat the underneath, and then that's finished. I also wood stained the logs, which are there, and those three there, and I did paint this bike. I will get a smaller brush, because it's sort of got patches on it, but and I painted the brake calipers a bit on that tyre, because the canvas was showing, and I can't be asked to put a new tyre on it, and I've done the front one as well, and the handlebars. And I also touched up that bike there, with these bits here, and the little bits here on that red bike, I don't know if you can see. Um, and I touched up the ha where the handlebar grips were on the black bike was all rusty. I painted there, and I believe I painted the pedal arms. I will paint the pedal arms on that bike as well, and that bike, and the pedal arms on this bike. Uh, I did touch up something on that bike, I can't remember what. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And if we come down here to the messy, messy shed. Also, I took the trailer wheels off. That trailer up there. The, the herd. Oh, this fence is... This, this side of the garden's out of boundaries for the dog. I took the trailer wheels off. I took the wheels off of both sides of this. That's a spare wheel. That's not for the trailer and it doesn't even fit. Uh, I took the wheels off. I sanded down the hub with a with a wire brush and I painted it and I've also painted the wheels yellow. Uh, this motorbike I fixed. I've took all this off. I've cleaned the tank out. No more muck inside. I cleaned it out and I put a screw in there. This thing and I did uh, bolt that back on. So this thing's ready to start. Uh, the tyres don't hold air, but I'm ready. We're ready to start it, we just haven't got round to it yet. And this is where I touched up on this bike. Yeah, and I've done the pedal arms and the... I did a bit there because it was a bit bad. And over here I painted there and stuff. We use the door, seems on down this end. And if we come down here to the messy shed. Which... Also... I am built a new pathway for the garage here, just three bricks along and those two bricks there, and well there's some under that, but I just do, just digging up a bit of mud to put three bricks in. This is all the relics we found. Uh, that is a door hinge, that's some bracket thing, so now that is a spring for a peg, some car wheels, rubbish, litter, an old wheel, copper pipes part of a jeep, loads of rust arrows. I painted the toolbox yellow, but it seemed, when it's wet, I don't know if this is condensation or whether it's rained last night, uh, but this is a water-based paint. Well, when I say it's, I don't know what it's called, actually. It's a, uh, I'll get it out of the shed. This shed's a right tip. It's this stuff. It's non-drip gloss cornfield colour. It is as well. It's a bit rusty, you can't read it, but I did make out it's for indoors and, exter and exterior. So indoors and outdoor use, and it can be used on wood or metal. That's metal. The trail I, I painted the trailer wheels. Those trailer wheels up there are bright yellow, the same as this. The keys are in the garage, actually, which is handy. I can show you. Hopefully you can see it here. Get out the sun. You can see them already, look. Whoops. We'll turn the light on. So why not? Here's one. I sanded it down. I've done both sides, by the way. And the other one's there. And again, I've done the both sides as well. I gave um, the, in, the, so, the, the other side. The This is the outside because of the valve stem. The one on the inside, I... Um, I'd, I'll give a better coat because that's the stuff that's going to get most of the weather. Well, it's going to be the stuff that's not looked at most. I've resealed the tyres to the rim, both sides. However, because the tyres are cracked up around the edges a bit, it leaks air. So we're going to have to put an inner tube in it or some glue. Uh, the car, that's still here. This thing, we need to get some wood for that. We're going to, we brought the metal shelf in here. Uh... When we find, when we get some wood to go in there, or find some wood that fits here, like work, we want a bit of worktop really, because it needs to be quite thick. Uh, we're going to take apart the engine and unseize it, because that needs an engine rebuild. But that's 
that's the end of that garage um, stuff, really. Uh, I have. I was going to destroy the computer yesterday, but I, for, I didn't. Re I forgot about. Um, well, I say I forgot. I uh, by by the morning I'd forgot because it was my mum's birthday tomorrow, and we had a lot of visitors round and stuff, which is when my uh, uncle dropped off that telescope. I haven't got round to destroying that. The TV we're not destroying. That's just sort of there. We had a barbecue, which is why they were put over there. Uh, and I was sorting out my toolbox that's been sort of abandoned. Um, well, it hasn't been abandoned. I was using the stuff yesterday because I was making the bird uh, thing. Because I finished building it on Friday. When I say I finished building it, if all i done Saturday um, was put that bracket on there. That bracket on there. That bracket there. And if you come around to the other side, that bracket there. And I wood stained it. Uh, that's what I've done to it Saturday. I've got to just do the underneath today now. It's Sunday and then this is done. And then the hanging baskets could go back on the hooks. Uh, I painted that yellow as well. Well, I didn't actually paint that um, hanging basket bracket yellow. I sort of just wiped the brush out on it. But it's sort of now painted yellow. Um, I do have... I, I made at school in DT about a year ago. Well, probably, yeah, probably about a year ago. Um... I made my own hanging basket bracket like that, and, uh, well, yeah, I made my own one, and I riveted, obviously, all this bit in and stuff, but I believe I'll probably paint it, because I think it's the type of metal that goes rusty, I also made a, a coat peg thing, but I've not got round to drilling the holes in it here and there to screw to that post, and we don't have a hanging basket for it anyway, so it's not a problem, the basketball net we haven't used in a while. But getting back to what I started filming on this video, the telescope. Um, also, that printer, you know that Epson printer? We also, we fired up our big computer. So, let me just show you something inside. I hope I don't wake the dog up. This printer here, I have tested and it does work. Um, and, oh, sorry, I was just looking at something on my big computer. Some antivirus craps popped up. We don't use this computer anyway, but I hope you can't read none of that, so we'll zoom out. So yeah, we do have a adapter for it. Uh, yeah, that's just our old big computer that runs XP. The printer on that doesn't work. Um, so we're just this is pretty much dried out, but I will get an Allen key, take the things off, and I'll, well, yeah, we'll, so we'll go from there. We'll just clean the mirror at the back. Clean around the edge inside. Bit of a dent in it there, but not a problem. That's drying out as well. So I, I, I have put this bag over. This has been sitting out in my uncle's garden for probably two years, out in the garden. With no, that bag I put over it, because it was there where that chair is yesterday, because I was outside pretty much all day yesterday. Even probably like seven, no, about, up to about ten o'clock at night, I was just... Sitting out there and there, eating McDonald's chips and burgers with that radio on. And that can go on in a minute anyway for the day. Uh, that was on all day yesterday. So I think I was going to destroy that radio there for a YouTube video when I found it. I just stuck it there and it's been used all the time. So that's not getting destroyed. Uh, but yeah, what I've got, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop yabbling on. I'm going to clean the lens and I'll get back to you probably in another video because I've got stuff to do. So that's the end of this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will um, be filming when I test it and everything. And after I've cleaned the lenses out. So comment, like, and subscribe. And bye-bye.